Hello, Trouties. For those of you that do not know me, I am Sierra Bailey, the maker, designer, everythinger here at Manic Trout. And today is our weekly Facebook Live Friday, where I talk about everything from the behind the scenes of the company, jewelry, of course, and style and fashion. So today, I want to talk specifically, well, not so specifically, I want to talk about, um, I get asked a lot, like, if you, where do you start? If you have never bought things from Manic Trout before and are an admirer of the jewelry, where do you start? Maybe you're trying to buy a gift for somebody. Maybe you have been following along on social media and you just don't know where to jump in. I hope it's because that you love so many things that you don't know where to start. Um, but uh, especially for those of you that are kind of new to the world of statement jewelry, Sometimes I wonder, like, do you get a little overwhelmed at, I have a lot of different jewelry on today because I'm going to be explaining things, but sometimes I, I, it's hard. Do you start with the, as I love to call them, the sparkly neutrals? Do you start with the bold color? You know, like, where do you go? So let's talk through this. This, of course, applies to all jewelry, really all things that you put on you. You could apply this to hats as well. So let's say that you are seeing Manic Trap for the first time. And you are thinking, oh, this is pretty cool jewelry. You know, where should I start? I always tell people when I see them in person, like if I'm at a rare show that I do or something, like something's going to speak to you. It's like artwork. You know, you're you're buying it because it's something just makes you want to have this and to love it. And for the most part, I find that people get attached to the animals first. That is the first thing that usually brings you to manic trout because they're very different. They, oh goodness, I have storage full issues. Apologies on that. You see um, a specific animal or, you know, some of the things like the pineapple and the skull are not animals, but you see something like that and it really speaks to you. It it, it definitely like something grabs your attention and, and you get into that. So I always say when, when you come to manic trout, if you are a new trouty and you are really wanting to treat your to something but you don't know where to start I always say go with one of the animals or you know that's on that because they're kind of my signature pieces they're what I'm very well known for and although I have been making jewelry besides the animals for longer the animals seem to be the ones that um, get the most attention because they really uh, they like strike something with people I, I love finding uh, like the reason why people are into certain animals it's very cute sometimes there's like like I remember a woman told me a story about how her nickname growing up was like a certain animal. And so every time she sees it, she has a soft spot for it. You know, there are things like that. Uh, but uh, I myself am attracted to animals like giraffes that make no sense whatsoever because I'm really short. I don't know why, but I love giraffes. I have them all over the house. So you never know why somebody is into something. So I would say that is where you should start. Usually it's the, the fun piece that kind of gets you in. And then when you get that, you'll start to enjoy Enjoy the benefits of wearing big, bold, colorful statement jewelry, unusual jewelry. Um, and these benefits include, they are great to finish off an outfit. Like if you get dressed and you're, especially for those of us that wear kind of like a uniform or you're going to work and you're wearing similar things, a big, bold piece of statement jewelry just makes the outfit. It takes you from like same black pants and blouse you've worn 30 times to like boom. So that's the biggest benefit of statement jewelry. Um, I, I also, a lot of women say they feel very confident in it. And it, of course, you know, brings the compliments a little bit because you have a cool piece of art around your neck. All right, so I would say those of you that maybe are not like really into color or who wear a lot, a lot of color, I would say maybe start with one of the more sparkly neutral ones. You know, something like the pineapple, which is right behind me, um, because it, it goes with everything. One of my personal favorites recently has been the can't remember the name of it, but the leopard with the big magnesite ovals, like the really big ones. And it has just been going with everything that I've been wearing. So that works out really well. There's also um, black versions like Labradorite with a cicada. Uh, there is a wonderful black dragonfly. It almost looks like a bow on the side. That's another sparkly neutral that's really good. So those are kind of, if you're not feeling very adventurous and you're maybe new to the big, bold, colorful statement pieces, those are great places to start because they're, they're not as intimidating. And then um, for those of you that love color, I would say dive on in. Pick your favorite animal, your favorite color, like the picture me, Picture me necklace up there that has the uh, turquoise jasper, it's not turquoise, it is a turquoise colored uh, jasper with the peacock, you know, like bold color, bold animal. I love it. So the animals really have something for everybody and they're really fun. 
So then what do you do after that? I would say if you are a big necklace fan to start moving into the non animal jewelry. I have a lot of trouties. I actually spoke to um, one earlier today, Laura, who was saying that she has about four, I think she has like four animals right now. She's like, I'm ready to branch out into the non animals. So sometimes it, you know, you get the animals that you like and then it takes you a little bit and then you kind of move into, you know, like the endless memory necklaces, which are in a collection from this year. Um, that's kind of like the next step. And, and I say it's the next step because sometimes they get a little uh, more brightly colored like the one behind me that is like a neon pink it glows with orange and that is not for the faint-hearted <laughs> uh, if you are not used to statement jewelry you'll kind of need to work up to that but for those of you that are into bold colored statement jewelry oh it's a great one great choice uh, it looks wonderful with like business clothes too because it adds that unexpected pop of color I love it so the Necklaces are kind of what I have the most of. I, I really enjoy making necklaces. Sometimes I have to like remind myself to make other things. But besides like the big necklace, I'm a huge fan, especially in a hot climate, of a statement bracelet paired with big earrings. And I do that combo a lot. That works really well too with a lot of the trickier necklines. Um, there's a lot, there's a big trend in like, like with the cold shoulder and like styles like that, that have weirder necklines. And sometimes necklaces are hard to fit around that. So I sometimes avoid the necklace altogether and go with a big bracelet or a stack. And there's actually a Facebook Live Friday all about building bracelet stacks. Um, and then with big earrings. And I actually would say of all, if you're gonna go that route next, of all the earrings that I have, the everything I need earrings, I have them in four different stones. I'm wearing the white druzy. They, I wear these like daily. They're they're very versatile. They go with everything. Um, I'm wearing them with a statement necklace and they look great on their own. They're not heavy at all. They're wonderful. And if you follow along on the Facebook page, you will know that I'm basically obsessed with this bracelet and I wear it like every day. Um, the Miss Narcissist collection. But I also have, I actually brought some jewelry over today. You know, there are of course, animal bracelets like this one is black lava with a squirrel how fun is that for all of you attention uh, people that have a little bit of the attention issue um there's also this is the bracelet that goes with the necklace that i'm wearing and i almost like the bracelets more than the necklace in this collection i really like these bracelets i wear them a lot as well and then you know for most of the bracelets they do like the animals, I don't make in sets, but you can absolutely ask for them. But this is the uh, different colors. And this is the Lena with pink opal and Labradorite. Um, and there is a necklace that goes with this as well. But you see, th like this bracelet has so much color and so much boldness. This paired with a pair of earrings really works very well together, especially um, when it's very hot out because sometimes you do not want all of that jewelry touching you like those of us in Texas, which P.S. apparently we're all going to go down this weekend because Harvey is about to hit. We're in Austin, I thought we'd avoid it, but I don't know what's gonna happen to us. So if you don't see me for a few days, you've known what's happened. <laughs> I'm using a, uh, like a desktop computer these days. So if my phone loses battery and I have no way to charge it, I may not be around for a few days, but I'm sure I'll be okay. All right, so once you have covered the animal of your choice, the statement necklace of your choice and the bracelet earrings, then you can start playing around with like, for example, this necklace, the first light necklace is both, this is doubled. So it's both a great statement necklace on its own, but it becomes long as well. And a note about long necklaces, being so short, I don't normally reach for them because they don't work always they you know, they work sometimes but for me the shorter necklaces are better because usually their long necklaces are a little long for me but I have been kind of talking about my plans for collection designs and I'm going to do the animals in the off months so the months that I do not release collections will be I'll release um, animals that are devoted just to that. So a little collection, like four pieces. So those months when I release collections, I used to do like two sort of sets of 12. I don't want to get too complicated with this, but I'm going to try to, to do something for the fall collection that if it goes well, I'll continue it. So I'd love feedback when it comes out. I'm going to do a necklace earrings bracelet, which of course are not intended to have to be together, but they can be together because I know some of you really enjoy sets, some enjoy mixing and matching, but I'm going to try to introduce doing a long necklace that goes into that. So there's kind of all four 
components for each of the color schemes that I'm doing. And I think that is the way to go. I've been getting a lot of questions about the long necklaces. And, you know, as I've said, I love to use these videos as a chance to talk things through with you. So you kind of get a behind the scenes. And it's like, if you watch the video, you get to have a little special uh, tidbits from the brand. And I, I, that is, I think, something that I'm trying to work on. And the other thing that you have all been asking about is silver. And just so you know, when you go to manatrout.com now, not only are a lot of the things like the statement non-animal necklaces available in silver, and they're right on there, but I have now listed a lot of the animals I have been getting plated in sterling silver. So it takes a couple more weeks. Uh, oh. I have a, I have Claire commenting that she may try a long necklace next. Claire, I should have some coming out in the new collection, which will come out in September that you may really love. So look forward to those. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Um, but know that I'm now releasing silver animals on manatarot.com and I have not done that before. They are not all available. It kind of depends on the animal and the availability. I work with a few different factories in the US to get the animals. So some can plate, some can't. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll work towards everything. But for right now, we're rolling out a few. So when you go to manatrout.com and you actually select, like right under where the information is, there's a thing that says like custom options. And there's now an option that says like silver plated. There's a little bit of a charge to that because I have to have it plated and um, it does take, uh, I say two weeks, but it's usually faster than that. Um, but you know, a window of time. So I'm trying to roll out more silver. I'm, like I said, I love feedback from Trouties. And if you have things to tell me and things that you'd like, please let me know because I will work very hard to make those things happen for you. But if I don't know that you want them, I can't do them. So I'm trying to at least get that out because that's a big request this year. Yeah, the colors of metals come in and out of style and we kind of have been going towards silver a little bit. So um, it just takes me a second to adjust. But I um, almost, I think maybe, maybe there's one necklace, but like all of these you can get in silver, all of the non-animals you can absolutely get in silver now. And those are very easily available. And that is for the non-animal ones, uh, there is no time or charge difference on gold and silver because these are gold, not the brass anyway. That was a lot of information coming at you, but yes. <laughs> so if you are new to Manic Trout, I would say absolutely give one of the animals a try first because those are the ones that really speak to people and tend to delight them. They're whimsical, they're fun, they're, you'll, when you wear them, you'll, you feel good in them. They're, they're fun to wear. And then after, you know, you realize that Manic Trout jewelry is pretty awesome, you can move on to the other statement necklaces, maybe a long variety like Claire is going to try. Um, but don't overlook the bracelet and earring because like I said, those really can, some of the trickier outfits that you don't know how to wear when, you know, even if it's not mandatory jewelry, I understand we all wear other jewelry sometimes, you know, but make sure that you don't overlook having that. So make sure that you always have like a few statement earrings and bracelets like in your closet when getting ready because for the outfits where you sometimes look at them and you're like, no necklace is working with this neckline. Sometimes there are some tricky necklines out there. Sometimes that happens. I actually should do a video on necklines. I keep meaning to do that, but I don't know how to do that without changing my clothes. So I'm working on that one. I thank you for joining me today on this Facebook Friday Live. I hope that all of you that are in Texas or anywhere near the path of Harvey that is coming through, do well this weekend and are safe and dry. And I will be back, of course, next Friday at 1 p.m. Central on the Manic Trout Facebook page. If in the meantime you are not following along, please click on the icon up there, it's me in a necklace, and follow along on Manic Trout. I'm also on Instagram, at Manic Trout, obviously, and Twitter, Pinterest, Polyvore. Do you guys do Polyvore? I love Polyvore, it's fun to put outfits together. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you all next week. And thank you again for joining me, Sierra Bailey, on Facebook Live Friday for Manic Trout.